In 20, no, in 1999, I was in federal holding in Las Vegas, and I had a dream. In this dream, God said to me in the dream, in 20 years from now, I will call in 20 years from now at Christmas time, to be specific, I will cause a star to fall from heaven into the waters on the earth and they and there will be fire everywhere. And men will desire to flee from the fire on the land to the fire in the water. But the fire in the water will be hotter than the fire on land. So I really never understood the fullness of the dream, but I knew that there were specific dates that God gave me. There were specific things in the dream that I knew that I understood. One of them was Christmas time, 20 years from 1999, which would be 2019. Christmas time, 2019. I knew that at Christmas time, 2019, that something horrible was going to happen. And because the, in the dream, I was told that it would be everywhere, that fire would be everywhere, that whatever this thing that was supposed to happen, it's going to affect everywhere. Not just the United States, but everywhere. <clears throat> so what happened 2019 Christmas time, a couple years ago? Do you know what happened? COVID. So God was telling me in 1999, when I was in federal holding facility, that he would allow COVID to penetrate the whole world and that this thing would be everywhere. And what I did as evidence, my book, The Road to Paradise, which I got published in 2005, June, I put that dream and what was given to me in my book. And I was bold to do it then because, you know, putting that kind of stuff in the book, people think that you're crazy. But because I knew God had shared that with me, I put it in the book that any one of you guys can go see right now. You know, The Road to Paradise by Andre Taylor. <clears throat> so listen, in 1999, God let me know that COVID was coming, even though I didn't know it was COVID at the time. I just had the date. And so I was just knowing that whatever this thing is, it would be big enough to affect the world, but it won't happen until Christmas time of 2019. And for me to put it in my book would be the evidence that would be irrefutable, that no one could refute that I knew what I was talking about. Because I'm talking about something that's supposed to happen in the future and that it happened exactly Christmas time of 2019. If you go look up when COVID was identified, it'll let you know it was Christmas time of 2019. That are, that's some of the benefits. That is some of the benefits of deciding to be fair, a righteous person. There are other things that I've been given about my future. Even the very thing that I did in Seattle with police accountability, I was first told that. Now, let me explain something to you. Dreams have interpretation. So you could have a dream, right? And it, it, you need to interpret what it means because in the dream, it's not going to mean exactly, it's not going to be exactly how it is when it manifests uh, in real life. So it requires interpretation. i give you a perfect illustration. I had a dream. I was in federal holding. And, and I remember me and a few other guys were talking about going to trial. And I had a dream when I was in federal holding. And in this dream, there was this white woman in the dream. Right? And my, my other friends that were going to go to trial... They all had sex with this white girl. I didn't have sex with the white girl, but in the dream, I remember I wanted to, but I didn't. I also remember in the dream, there was a spider web with spiders, which represents time, right? So, okay, I woke up. <coughs> and this is how I knew what the dream meant. 
because a little while after the dream, every single one of my partners took a deal with the government. So sleeping with the right lady, the right, the white lady represented the justice system because it's a picture of a woman, you know, uh, the justice system, America or, or Statue of Liberty, or, you know, representing America, the justice system. They all had sex with in a dream and they all took deals. I didn't take a deal because they didn't offer me one, but I wanted to. Right. So I learned that in a dream. Having sex with a person in a dream doesn't really mean that you're having sex with the person. It could mean that you guys are going to bed together, which means, you know, we're, we're having some type of contractual agreement. You know what I'm saying? That we are, we are, we're making some type of agreement. And so it was only through what I seen happen in real life that allowed me to interpret what that meant. That's how I learned interpretation, because sometimes God will give you a dream and you won't be able to, you won't know what it means until something manifests in real life so that you can understand, oh, that's what that meant. So now that gives you the interpretation. So now I know that it doesn't mean when you're having sex with somebody in a dream that you're having sex with somebody in a dream. It means there's some type of partnership, some type of agreement that is happening. You see how I, how I learned the interpretation of that? There's some type of partnership, some type of agreement that was happening, right? So that's how I learned how to interpret dreams. So, again, there are certain things that I knew about what I would do in Seattle, Washington, because I had seen in my past, I had seen and had a dream about some activities that would be going on in Washington that would involve the media and a lot of other people. And I had that dream when I was young, maybe around 16 or 17 years old, you know, and it didn't manifest until I was what, uh, 42 or something like that. It didn't manifest until many years later. But I remember what I had seen. And of course, it didn't happen exactly the same way that I seen in the dream. But it did happen. So even to this day, there are many things that I know about my future, which makes me so emboldened in my life, which makes me an individual that, that I don't have any fear. Right? So that's why I was so confident when I came up to Seattle to fight law enforcement, because I'd already seen the success in the dream. So righteousness or being fair have given me access to open up the portal through my relationship with the Most High to get access to my future. And once you are given access to your future and the Most High communicates something to you, that gives you power. What kind of power? The kind of power that I knew when I was facing life and sentence, a life sentence that based upon the things that the most high had given me shown me and told me about i knew that there was no judge or no man on the face of this earth that could stop what the most high had told me so that gives you some type of force field some type of unusual confidence and people don't understand you know, they don't understand why you are this way, why you are that way. That is because of the things that I've been given that I know cannot be altered, <coughs> cannot be altered. That is why. That is why I share with you about COVID. And any time, whenever God gives you something and then it manifests that it happens, you become that much more confident and that much more bolder. Do you understand how that works? And to at some point, as you've been so developed in the life, in the relationship, in access to your future, in knowledge of your future, you become something extraordinarily different. Not on your own. But this is because the, where you started from, simply because you chose the route of fairness. And fairness gave you access to real power. Do you understand what I'm saying? To real power. So I really have real power. 
that the government can't stop, that no man or woman can stop. And my life shows the evidence. I'm just trying to show you and tell you how I became me. So that you won't be seduced in what you see evil and unrighteousness, how it gives the people, how it promotes people, so that you won't be seduced by thinking righteousness doesn't give you anything. That is the biggest lie of the enemy that's being sold out there. And all the things that those people seek for, the reason why they have used people, right? The reason why they've been manipulated is because of profit, uh, profit and access to a better life, access to wealth and access to riches. And all of what they've done and all the power that they've achieved, it is still submit underneath my righteousness. Underneath my righteousness, all of their power is yet submitted and I have the receipts. Do you understand? I have the receipts. That is why they couldn't beat me in the feds. That is why they couldn't beat me with police accountability. That's why I will never be beaten. Because I have a glimpse of my life in the future. Oh, man, uh, I'm going to have